Mm. You need that crunch. That's the vegetable. That's how I like my vegetables. Mm. It's really good. kitchen and uh, today we are making a uh, requested this by uh, Rosel Horka de la Cruz it's her birthday so she requested me to cook a pancit so I decided to make my favorite kind of pancit is uh, a pancit bihon also there are a lot of celebrant in the month of August uh, is the grandma of Lavlin Cordora. I'm not sure if I uh, uh, pronounced your last name properly. But anyway, happy birthday, Polola. And happy birthday to all birthday celebrant in August. Uh, I also have a sister celebrating her birthday on the 7th. And my brother celebrating her birth, his birthday on the 3rd. And then I have a niece, uh, uh, Aryan, um, celebrating also at the end of the month of August. So happy birthday to all August celebrants. And for those who are watching uh, Jelly's Kitchen and are not subscribed yet, uh, subscribe and uh, click that notification bell so you will not miss any uh, upload videos. Okay, uh, let's go cooking. Come and join me. So to make our pancit bihon, we are using a fish bowl. Uh, and I have half a pound of uh, cooked shrimp. And I have uh, broccoli. I'm using broccoli this time. And of course the cooking oil. And I have uh, a quarter pound of uh, pork meat. And I will be using half of the um, uh, cabbage and one red onion. This one. We are not using garlic this time. I just remember instead of a cooking oil, I will be using uh, anato oil. So I don't need the uh, asphyxiator. So I will just use the anato oil right away. And of course, uh, we need some black pepper and a quarter cup of soy sauce. So to start cooking, we will um, do first the pork because uh, we still need to make this tender. So I will just drop it in the cook pan uh, without anything. I will just add a little bit of water. So I will leave it here until the uh, the water dissipates, and for um, by that time the pork should be uh, tender. I also want to cover the cookware so um, we can get the the pork uh, gets tender quicker. And excuse me if I will be speaking all in, in English today because um, the lady that's helping taking care of my husband, uh, she wants to learn how to make this uh, pancit bihon. Uh, here in Wisconsin, uh, we call this this uh, fried lo mein. So let us check the pork. Oh, I think is. Uh, almost there, but there is a little more water. So by this time, I want the fat open. So then I would know uh, when the water totally dissipates. 
because we don't want it to get burned. So by this time, you just uh, keep your uh, pot open and just uh, look, uh, watch it. When it's time to add the uh, anato oil. And for Katie, she might ask, um, what is anato oil? Uh, this is a seed, anato seed. We can also get this in the Asian store. Uh, how, how to do the anato oil is you just have to put it in your frying pan and then uh, add the cooking oil. When the cooking oil is uh, hot enough, uh, then you can uh, add some of the anato oil. Okay, um, maybe if you will put like a um, quarter cup of cooking oil, then you can add a tablespoon of the anato seed. Okay, and this is going okay. And also, um, you might ask why do I need help uh, uh, with my husband is because he's now a bedridden. Um, so you see, even if I smile and Charlie while I am cooking, I'm also going through uh, with something. So all of us must be going through something. So uh, when you do, uh, you don't need to dwell with it. Uh, just be thankful of every day that passed by. You know, uh, so um, in my way, cooking is a kind of therapy or to fill that time of emptiness or loneliness. Then while I'm cooking, I am forgetting all those and some, and I also feel joy while I'm cooking and sharing my recipe to you. And like I said, if your mom or dad or your child is sick, uh, you don't need to dwell with it. Don't be so sad with it. Just pray and do something. I mean, uh, just uh, deal with any problem that we go through uh, day by day. I'm sure we all go through trials. So just be strong and hang in there. That's all I can say. And always pray to our Almighty God. So the lo mein is usually uh, is yellow in color. And this is one package of uh, lo mein that we can always get it in Asian store. And back home, we call it bihon. So uh, the water has now dissipated. Um, and the pork also released uh, some oil. Uh, we don't want to turn brown uh, the pork. So, um, because sometimes when you uh, brown the pork, when you are doing the lo mein, uh, the pork will uh, get harder. By this time, the pork should be very soft like this. That you can even cut with your spatula like that. See now, by this time, I will add the uh, anato oil. The noise you heard is my husband. So that's how much anato oil I use. And then by this time, we can add the rest of the uh, ingredients. Like I will start with the fish ball. And then I will also add the shrimp. And I will add the uh, black pepper. And I will also add the uh, one large uh, on red onion and then you saute everything like this mix everything uh, 
Uh, you notice I did not caramelize the onion. I treat the onion like a vegetable. I just add it in there. So we'll wait uh, a little bit. Uh, when get um. Our shrimp is already uh, um, cooked, so uh, we don't need to uh, wait longer. The same thing with the fish bone. So what I do now is I will just uh, keep stirring it so everything will get incorporated. So we add our lomen or the bihon. And then we add our uh, quarter cup soy sauce. And then you stir it. Again, so uh, the lomen will uh, get the all the taste of our uh, ingredients, like the pork, the shrimp, and the fish bones. So after mixing it all together, uh, we need to cover the pot for at least uh, five minutes. So five minutes pass, let us check our lomen or our pancit bihon. It looks good. And by this time, I will need a ladle and a spatula so you can mix it this way. It's easy to mix it up when you have the spatula and the ladle with you. So now, uh, we can add our vegetable. Uh, this time, I am using a, uh, a head of uh, broccoli. You can use any vegetable what is available in your refrigerator like beans or uh, green peas or you can also use celery if you like or if it's available in your refrigerator. And then again, you just mix it. And same thing our cabbage. Uh, we cut our cabbage in a small pieces like this. Oopsie. And then if you need more gloss into your vegetable or in your food, you can add more anato oil. It's up to you. It's your food. <laughs> I mean, if you're cooking, then you can do what you like. And I did not add any more salt because the soy sauce is salt enough. It's good enough. So again, with our ladle and our spatula, we just mix it together like this. And remember, uh, we, do, we don't use any drop of water uh, because our um, the shrimp and the fish bone they have also contain some water, and our vegetables contains water, so we don't need to add a drop of water. So after mixing it, I will cover the pot again for at least only 3 minutes and we're done cooking. After 3 minutes, let us take a peek. Mm. This is looking good. And it smells.
that is so good. So we are done cooking. Mangantana po. Now we can eat. Mmm, does it look beautiful? I like my uh, greens uh, uh, half cook, not fully cooked, because I like the crunch of the vegetable when I am eating. So there is now our fried lo mein, pancit bihon. Yeah. Okay, uh, time to eat. So uh, when we eat, uh, we use a lime or either a lemon or back home. If calamansi is available, then you can use calamansi. Okay. Mm. This looks really good. It should taste really good. <laughs> Again, uh, for those uh, birthday celebrant for the month of August, um, happy birthday and I hope uh, you enjoy your day. Uh, may God um, grant whatever your heart desires. Okay, let us eat. Para po sa inyo. Mm. You hear that crunch? That's the vegetable. That's how I like my vegetables. Mmm. It's really good. You can also add more pepper if you want. Or uh, if you need more soy, you can do too. Just follow what taste you like. Mm. I'm happy. Mmm. This boss is always tasty. So I'm hoping you can follow my recipe. Uh, if you will try to cook it, and if you miss something, all you have to do is to rewind the video until you get it. Um, this is not difficult to make. As long as you have all the ingredients in front of you, you can just start and finish your cooking. Uh, so I hope uh, uh, you enjoy my video and thank you for watching and see you next time.